I hate missing and grabbing that. It's so annoying. Just screws that part up. We're hitting that jump today. Cycle. Yes, we can. That's like a pixel perfect jump. At least that's what it feels like. Okay. Saves like one elevator cycle. Isn't very much time. I think it's like three seconds, probably. I save on those grabs. <laughs> Definitely less lag when that happens. licensed Famicom game, which finally works on the EverDrive with the newest update. I have had to, or I have wanted to run this game for like two years, ever since it finally got dumped.
92. I don't know why I picked that up. Oh, it's gonna cause lag. This was like one of the last undumped Famicom games. It's like really rare. It was finally dumped like two years ago. But it uses a weird mapper, so it was not uh did not work on the EverDrive until the the update like last week. That's how you're supposed to fight that boss. Chinese vampire. <laughs> the one Chinese vampire. It's really slow to stop and kill everything there, but it is a insane amount of lag on the way back if you don't kill them. Pretty simple game. Get the key in every level, go in the door. But it's one hit deaths, unless you're in a transformation. Then that gives you one extra hit. And no checkpoints. Even if you get the key, you do not keep it if you die. You have to get it again. So dying is very bad in this game. The only transformation I use is the penguin for the water stages. So the penguin goes, feels like at least like twice as fast. And you'll see the magic pills in the top right. That's what it costs to uh, transform, or that's the uh, currency for transforming. So you see me collecting. Sometimes going a little out of my way to collect, uh, collect the pills. Thank you for grabbing it that time. But everything else is pretty expensive and doesn't really help go faster, so... We only use the penguin. The penguin only costs five. so I let go of the ball early. If you hold one of the balls for too long, it just, uh... You just drop it and won't let you, uh, carry it anymore. It just, like, jumps out of your hand. Here we go for four double hits. Just like that. definitely a video game. This game is actually pretty fun. It feels really smooth, even despite the lag in spots. The controls are really, really nice. I jumped at the wrong time there. I was definitely gonna die. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I don't want 
that. There's the new strat. I like it. Switch to Penguin in the water stages. That's what we do every time. <laughs> penguin is real slow on land, though. So that's why we... That's why I burn it at the end of, uh... Every water stage. Yes, I remembered. Penguin also has this bubble attack, but... You only see me kill, like... Two or three enemies with it. It's not a very good attack. burn it, because we're going to be on land. <clears throat> burn it so that we don't have to burn it in this stage. Alright, that's a little bit safer for that part. You see the letters at the bottom, right? <clears throat> you spell out extra, you end up uh, getting this annoying animation. Alright, avoided that letter. It gives you a one up, but it costs like close to 10 seconds, I think, where the game is just stopped <laughs> in the middle of the level. Alright, let's actually kill this freaking snake this time. Yay! got the double hits. Nice. <clears throat> That's how that boss fight is supposed to go. No Alright, now we're on world 5, which is all water levels. So we are trying to not get hit at all here. This is one of the enemies I kill. I just kill that guy right away. <laughs> so I'm trying to squeeze by. But I have a swaggy new kill for this boss, so hopefully we can get there. Go down. I had an accidentally awesome kill on my PV. Pick it up. But I uh, hopefully figured out a kind of consistent kill. So now we now we do not burn off the penguin after every stage. Penguin for every level, since we're in the water for every level. <laughs> These bone fish are really annoying. They like home in on you. That was smooth. Oh, okay. Maybe we're gonna take our time because this guy is in our way anyway. That eel. Straight up. Line up against those, and then you just perfectly squeeze through those. Those uh, clam guys, whatever they are. I 
That's a safe strat there that I thought of yesterday. That's fine. Waiting there didn't really cost time. So I was gonna wait for the clam anyway. Go down at the star finish. Back up, down. It feels bad to bonk into stuff. <laughs> this one on the key is just right here. It's just right along the path of the level. Or the path to the door. Door's up there. Burn the penguin because this one is mostly all on land. There's some swimming sections, but they're fairly short. And then for some reason, this one has a hidden exit. No other level in the game has a hidden exit. That was real sketchy and total improv there. <laughs> so much for the host and for the resub. Very much appreciated. How you doing today? How was your practice? I ah, need to grab this. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you miss it, you still need to grab it. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone from Eon's chat. This is uh, a game you probably have never seen. It's called Magic Kid Goo Goo. It is a Korean unlicensed Famicom game from uh, 1992. But it's actually quite a good game. Controls extremely well. Like, surprisingly well. <laughs> Alright, you get to see one of the transformations. I only. The only uh, animal I transform into is the penguin during the run. There's quite a few others, but. I don't think any of them. Unless someone can find a use for them, I don't think any of them are really useful for the speed run. You see how fast the penguin is underwater. That's an intentional hit to lose the penguin. <clears throat> this is definitely not the desert level for Mario 3. Oh no! I let go of up too early. We're fine. Troll enemy right there at the door. You 
could actually make this one without stopping here in the middle, but... Eh, we don't really need that, like, half a second save there at this, <laughs> at this moment. Are you kidding me? Even after I came up with a visual cue for that. <laughs> oh well. Alright. This is the ant boss. Just came up with a new kill. This is a super tricky kill where you just stand here. <laughs> Focus now. That's not the move. It's fine. That's fine. Oh, here's Sonic, by the way. There's Sonic down there. mechanic is really neat. The ball bounces back to you and everything. And it'll actually bounce up. It'll go off screen like quite a ways and still manage to bounce back to you, which is pretty cool. So the game remembers it was it's active for quite a while. But yeah, this game is uh, one hit deaths, so really do not want to get hit. Was. The third world or third level in every world is always a water level. We have enough to switch to the penguin again here, so we're gonna do that. is uh, like a kind of a big loop. The key was directly above us at the start, but the only animal that can, or the only transformation that can get that is uh, the bird. And the bird costs like 30, 30 magic pills. And this would be like, sorry Sonic, this would be like the only level that, well the bird could be useful in other levels, but you just don't come across that many the magic pills for it to be worth it. <clears throat> Alright, played a little safe on that snake because I always feel like I get a little too close to that snake. <laughs> back here. The exit is directly above us. Technically you could probably use a penguin there if you had enough. I only have four pills though. Penguin costs five. I'm gonna wait. Okay. That guy has killed me before. Play it a little safe.
Walking is the same speed underwater, so... If you see me walking instead of swimming, it doesn't matter. Alright, final boss. can get double hits on this boss, but... Uh-oh. Okay. Simmer down. <laughs> Awful final boss. That could have been sub-26. So we barely got sub-27. <laughs> That was a really bad final boss, but that was deathless.